Okay, so let's actually do a good tutorial on this this time. So what I'm running right now is I am running a Kwin tiling script on top of LXQt. So okay, so I'm using MX Linux as my base. Um, I'm using actually the next most recent kernel. Let's see what else? Um, I have two monitors right now, so this video might end up bitchy. But um, yeah, so I'm using Kwin as my window manager for LXQt instead of its. Oh, uh, well, I'm using Kwin X11 instead of its default. Although its default is Kwin, I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, so right now I'm using a tiling script for it, which, as you can see, is incredibly, incredibly sexy. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'm also using. So I also still have this standard stuff set up. I'm using this fugly icon pack I was messing with. Um, and yeah, actually it's a pretty cool icon pack. But uh, yeah, I'm also using uh, fucking Rofi as my primary launcher here, just because it's faster. I'm not a big fan of you know, clicking down here or even using the search. Because I've noticed the search in LXD is or LXQt is pretty, pretty goddamn slow. But this is so lightweight. I mean, I'm streaming right now. I got the, <laughs> got the pipes going on, you know. Um, what's the name of that? Uh, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. But yes, I actually really like this setup. I typically use, um, uh, <laughs> what's it called? Oh yeah, I, I typically use Plasma as my main DE, so, you know, LXQt isn't too far off, and it's not as buggy as it was, like, directly after it came out, you know? And one of my, pri one of my favorite things about using this window manager, and when, uh, Thailand window managers in general, is when you change containers, you know, it just works out so well. Look at that, it's gorgeous. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, it seems to snap between des desktops pretty well. There's a bit of glitchiness depending on what's going on. You can adjust uh, gap size in the actual Kwin uh, script, if I'm not mistaken. You see I got this going on too, so I'm moving that to my second monitor. But yeah, so works out pretty well. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Nice job script. Look at that. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's about it. I don't have anything else to say about this, except for it's super lightweight. Jeebus. And, uh, yeah. So, also, I don't touch my waifu. So, actually, we're gonna do this. Let's spam some windows, because it's always fun. Let's see if it can make it. Spam it. Oh. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so window spam was pretty successful. Let's move it all to one. Getting some frame drops here, actually. But you have to understand half of them are on my other. Uh, nice. It tiled most of them properly. Check that out. And I'm using, um, I'm actually also using uh, i3 commands to be able to close windows and stuff like this. But it's not really important. It's better though. One glitch that this script actually does have is if you kill a desktop and there's a window on it, it will actually kill whatever application that is. And I actually broke my tiling script. But uh, so check this out. Oh no, well I didn't do that. So I'm guessing it only does that in plasma? Huh. Interesting. Anyway, that about wraps it up. I don't have much more to say about this except for works out very well. Big fan. And uh, yeah, you can also switch windows to floating, which I didn't demonstrate, just like any other tiling window manager. So, cool beans. Bye!